Well, everyone, and in this video, we're going to be walking through how to size the posts and beams correctly for a deck that you'll be designing from scratch to make sure that you are compliant with the International Residential Code. And we're going to be using table R507.6 to uh, justify our decisions to make sure that we ever uh, get an inspector out on our job site, we'll be able to pass inspection without any hitches. So um, we're gonna walk through this and before I jump too deep into it, I'm just gonna define these terms so that we all know that we're on the same page. So our posts are these uh, members that basically go straight up. These can be things like a four by four or a six by six. And the posts at the base of them will typically have like a concrete footing like that to transfer the load from the post into the ground. Um, and then in between your posts, you're gonna have beams. Uh, and these beams are what span between these posts. Uh, and then on top of those beams, you'll have your actual joists, and these joists are what uh, your deck boards sit on top of. So as the load transfers from your foot to the deck board, it goes from the deck board to the joist, the joist to the beam, the beam to the post, and the post to the ground. So that is how all these things work. Um, and then the other thing to note is uh, when we start looking at this table, uh, the species of wood is important. So um, the main thing to note here is that we've got southern pine and then we have every other type of wood. So when you're buying wood from Home Depot, like uh, this four by 12 uh, by 12, it is Douglas fir. So if I wanted to figure out, you know, what is the max span for that particular type of wood, um, it's gonna be something different than if I was buying southern pine. Um, and so if we were to stick to this example of the four by 12 uh, Douglas fir, so I'm gonna note that Douglas fir is in um, that this list of species. Uh, the first thing I'm going to do here is I'm going to come in and I'm going to say that we have a 4x12. And in our case, um, you know, the, the span of your joist is how far away from the deck is your uh, joist protruding. And typically, you know, you'd buy these, uh, you know, joists in some span, like, you know, eight foot or 10 foot off the shelf. So if I said my deck joists were 10 feet um, for my deck, uh, then the maximum uh, span between the beams is going to be eight dash 10. And so the eight refers to eight feet, the dash 10 is 10 inches. So um, what that means is that in this hypothetical deck that I'm designing, and I'm using this four by 12 uh, Douglas fir wood, um, I'm going to need to make sure that when I am making my concrete footings, that there is at a maximum eight feet, 10 inches of spacing between my posts. So if I had posts that were nine feet apart, uh, that is no longer code compliant and I could get flagged during an inspection and we're no longer designing what is a uh, up to code deck. So um, that's how you interpret this thing. Uh, and if we wanted to look at this picture and, and do another quick uh, you know, walkthrough on this thing, um, you know, for sake of uh, an example, let's say this is made of Southern pine wood. Um, and so just based on you know, eyeballing it, we can see that these uh, beams appear to be made out of uh, two by eight. Um, and they've doubled them up. So there's one on either face of the post here. So I'm going to use a different color. So they've doubled up two by eight uh, southern pine. And um, if we look and kind of guesstimate what is the length of that uh, joist uh, that is you know, extending past the house, um, we can say that looks to be about eight feet. And so we're gonna highlight the eight right there. And so if you look across to the right and up, um, you can see that uh, seven feet, seven inches is going to be the maximum span that is allowed between uh, your beam in that particular example. So in this case, if I was an inspector and I was looking at this uh, framing, I would wanna make sure that there is no more than seven feet, seven inches of space in between these posts. And if there is, if that's not the case, then we're going to have to, uh, you know, your options would be to, uh, you know, you could decrease the span to six feet instead of eight feet. So instead of having these eight foot joists outside of your deck, you go down to a six footer, um, or you can 
uh, look at other options like that. But end of the day, that's how we interpret this table. Uh, it makes our lives a lot easier because we don't have to actually do the calculations of you know bending moments and everything else. Uh, so you can just look this thing up and uh, make sure that you are designing a safe code compliant deck. So I hope this is helpful stuff. Thank you all for watching. Let me know if you have any questions and be well.